Hey guys, happy Saturday to everyone. Here is Miss Marley. Isn't she just adorable, guys? So I just wanted to come out and make a video since it is the weekend and I had some time and normally I'd be sleeping in on a Saturday morning, but um, I woke up early and I couldn't wait to come in and spend some time in the nursery with my precious little baby girl and um, just enjoy spending some me time in my happy place. <laughs> so I figured I would share uh, what I have changed little Miss Marley in. I finally got around to changing her because I'd been a bad mommy and I left her in her sleeper for quite some time. I've been very preoccupied, very super busy with life, work, kids, my dogs, you name it. And those last few weeks have been just absolutely, utterly crazy. And then I've been redoing this nursery, so it's been, I've been kind of a bad mommy, neglecting my baby. <laughs> Luckily, she has not minded, because she was comfortable in her sleeper. And I love her in the sleeper, that sleeper is probably one of my favorites. But um, I decided to change her this morning, and I put this beautiful little Minutus knitted set on her. And you guys have seen the leggings on her before if you followed my channel. Um, but the top, the actual kimono style sweater top is a different one than the last one you saw that I paired it with when I first put this outfit on her or put the leggings on her. And then I showed you in the haul when I first originally got this that I got a lot of pieces that can, you know, mix and match with it. And I love, 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 love this brand. It's one of my favorite brands from the children's salon that is where it came from so if anybody's interested of where I have gotten some of my outfits a lot of my outfits guys I won't lie have come from the children's salon it is a company based out of the UK and I believe it's my best friend Tina's fault that she introduced this store to me <laughs> and over the last couple of years it's become like my ultimate favorite shopping place because they really have a, such a wide range of both British style baby clothing, Spanish knit baby clothing, American baby clothing, you name it. And they've got pretty much all the designer labels and name brands for baby outfits. And so I really enjoy the variety of what they offer in their store. And they have lightning fast shipping, guys. They're coming from the UK and I usually get the packages from the time I order, probably two to three business days. And that's fast because a lot of times, you know, when you order online, it's the whole it takes a few days, sometimes it takes up to a week just to process the order before they even ship it. Within, by the end of the day, usually when I place an order, this stuff ships out from the children's salon. So my hat's off to them. They do a phenomenal job and their business is amazing. <laughs> and, um, you know, they do have really, really high end, super, super expensive labels, but they also have a lot of the mid-range and also the more the more inexpensive brands as well so you have a lot to choose from and they have such a huge selection so most of the time I can find something within my budget that I want to be able to pick up for my babies and yeah I love it I just I like variety I like to have choices and that store gives me the most choices of anywhere I've shopped for my babies so yeah, so I highly recommend the Children's Salon. It's where I find a lot of my stuff. Um, I get a lot of questions on my videos, and sometimes I don't, I don't actually know that people have asked the questions because they're on older videos. So my apologies. It's kind of the problem with YouTube is that um, you know when you have like I don't know I have like over five hundred, well over five hundred videos total on my channel that I currently have up, and. People will go back and watch old, old videos, and I'm not aware that they have actually commented on the video. So my apologies if it takes me forever to let you know, but I do try to let people know when I'm showing different outfits where I've gotten them so that you guys can try to pick them up as well if you like them. I'm not one for <clears throat> keeping stuff to myself. I know that everybody likes to you know, find the things that they see on someone else's channel and or on their pictures on their, you know, their dolls are wearing. So it's, it's fun to share so everybody can kind of pick up what they like. And so I try to do that. But um, it's a beautiful little outfit though, guys. And I've got the whole, I've got a whole set from this brand. 
I've got a matching blanket, I've got the romper, I've got the other kimono style sweater tops. It's just beautiful. And it's very soft. And even though, you know, it is officially, <laughs> it's it's summer weather here. It's, it's happening. It's warm outside. It's humid. But this baby is a newborn baby. And I dress her how I would dress my own newborn living babies if I had a living newborn baby. And even though it's hot outside, we have central air and we keep it at a very cool 70 degrees always in our house. My other half is always hot. <laughs> so we accommodate him. So we put clothing on, but especially in this nursery, it is one of the most well-cooled spaces compared to the rest of the house because it is a smaller room. And I have noticed that it stays pretty cool in here. So for her, even though it's really super hot, if I were to take her outside, I would certainly take this off of her because I would want it to be appropriate. I'd put a romper on her or something. But when she's in her nursery and she's just laying here sleeping, I put her in long sleeves and long pants because newborn babies, when they are first brought home, they have they don't really regulate their circulation because they're brand new. It's just how newborn babies are. And so that's kind of how I portray her and how I see her. So that's how I dress her, if that makes sense. I know a lot of us say the same things because when we see a, you know our dolls as being a certain age, we dress them appropriately to that age. And that's exactly what I do with her. But there she is, laying on her changing table. I love this baby, guys. I know you guys have heard me say it, like, I feel like a thousand and one times. But I truly do adore this baby. She is my all-time favorite Claire Taylor baby. And that's, and all-time favorite baby of all the babies I've had. And that even includes Janica. And you all know, anybody that's followed my channel knows that I'm obsessed with Janica. And I would still love to have a Janica in my collection in the future again. But for now, I am very, very content with this baby. I used to think that I was all about open eye babies only because I like that they look at you and they that it feels like you're engaging with them but really what I figured out is that um, sleepers are more realistic especially if you're a person that likes to take your babies out in public definitely sleepers are the way to go they're easier to just pack up and go and people will never ever know that they aren't a living baby and for me that's what it's about because I live in a very small community I am not a lot of, there's not anybody that I work with. <laughs> okay, a couple people that I work with that know that I have a doll collection, but for the most part, my work life is very separate, but I also work with very prestigious people. And it's not something that I find appropriate to share with the people that I um, correspond with on a daily basis. It's just, it's just not. So if I ran into them out and about, they would know one, I don't have a newborn baby. And two, I, I would be slightly uncomfortable talking about my doll collection. It's just not, um, you know, it's just not how it is in my work life, I guess you could say. And someday I hope to not care and not think that it would ever affect my working status, which I don't think that it ever would because it's not like someone can be like, oh, she's weird. I'm going to fire her because she has dolls. But it's just something that I maintain a different professionalism when I am working, of course. And, you know, when I'm home and I'm in my private space or if I want to take a doll out, I don't want to run into people that I know generally. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my thought on that. So when I take her out and I've taken her out several times with me on little outings here and there and nobody would ever know you guys, nobody would ever know. She truly, as she's laying there, looks like she is a living newborn, a brand new, beautiful living newborn. Her coloring is perfect. Her hair is perfect, which by the way, how funny is this? As, as I was styling her hair, because I'm always, you know, I love my doll's hair and it's very specific. It has to be just so, it looks very perfect. And I was styling her hair the other day and I realized she has a swirl that I have not, that has been combed out basically. So her previous owner had everything very straight and used a lot of gel and things like that. And I took the gel out of her hair and then I realized as I was, you know, fixing her hair, that she has this beautiful swirl. If you can see, there's the swirl. Claire does a lot of that with her baby's hair that she's rooting. She puts swirls in different places, and I just thought it was sweet, and I would share it with you because I've never really shown her hair a whole lot. 
And the last time I showed it was just, you know, I took the gel out and showing you like the quality of the mohair and her, you know, how beautiful her hair is now that it's not all gelled up. And it lays beautifully. The color of it's lovely. And it has a swirl. Gotta love it. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I feel like I'm rambling and I'm talking about this, that, and the other thing. But um, yeah, I'm just really enjoying my nursery space. I feel pretty darn lucky that I get to have a dedicated space just for my, you know, hobby and for my babies. And when I walk in this room, you guys, it really feels like a baby nursery. I looked back at my old videos and <laughs> I wanted to find an older video that showed what my nursery looked like so I could see the difference of before and after. And I know I've changed a little bit over the last couple of years here and there, like when I got the chair and stuff like that. But when I first set up this nursery, I packed in everything I possibly could fit in this room. And that's also what made it feel so small because it's not a tiny, tiny room. I always say it's a small room, but this is actually a pretty roomy space for a nursery. And now that I've removed all of the clutter and gotten rid of the excess stuff, it feels like a larger space. It feels like a comfortable space and it feels like an ultimate baby's nursery. And I do have some more things coming. Not a lot, just things here and there. And I'm gonna continue, like I said before in my last video, I'm gonna to continue to pick up things that um, I wanna to add to the space that will accent the space. It won't change the space, but it'll just kind of add nice you know, touches, finishing touches, which will take me a little bit because I'll be picking up things that I like and things that I feel are special and will fit the space. And I'm very picky. So it may take me a little bit to really, really finish it. But so far I am absolutely thrilled with how the space has turned out. And thank you all so much for your feedback on it because everybody's been so lovely in commenting and letting me know how they think, what they think of it. You all are very, very kind, so I appreciate your feedback. I mean, ultimately, you know, the space is for me, but I, I like knowing that people are enjoying it as well with me, <laughs> if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm just, I, I love spending time in here. I really feel like it's just an amazing, space to be in when I have free time. And I'm of course still loving my little precious baby. And I will show her in her bassinet. I know that I had several requests that they'd like to see her in it. I will definitely put her in it and share with you how she looks in it when I put her to bed one of these evenings. And then you can see how, how well she fits into there. I love that little, her little pod. It's very sweet. I'm very pleased with the choices that I've made and the items that I've chosen to put in here. So yeah, I'm um, almost at 13 minutes. So I've rambled on long enough, guys. I will let you guys go for now. Um, stay tuned though, because uh, since cleaning out my nursery, I have some items that I'd like to do giveaways for. So I will let you guys know when that will be. Of course, you'll see it pop up. But um, yeah, I'd like to pay it forward again and, you know, give back to the community and and pass on some of the items that I don't any longer need. So I hope everybody has a great start to their weekend, guys. And Marley and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.